Gul'dan versus Gul'dan. All right. So it's like a warlock versus warlock. So probably zoo versus zoo. Some people prefer the, um, but a lot of people like uh, use the old kind of zoo kind of core and just put in the uh, one drop imp. I forget what's it called. What kind of imp are they called again? Uh, the new one drop imp. Yeah, uh, one -drop. Well, it's not just doom guard. Uh, they also run soul fires. Yeah, soul fires as well. Yeah. So it's pretty yes. good. So Pixie, a pretty strong opening double flame imp. <laughs> pretty powerful. Pretty hard to beat. Yeah, I'm actually looking it up now. It's uh, Melkazar's Imp. Oh yeah, Melkazar's Imp. Very strong card, but you only need a couple. There's only a couple good cards that has really, really good synergy with it, like the Doom Card and Soulfire. So I guess like people are going that route. So I mean, you could go a little bit deeper. There's the Teacher as well, the the two drop Teacher that makes you discard a card and then when it dies, you draw a card. Yeah. So you, you technically to get two card value out of it with the Imp. Yeah, I like I like Bixie's play here. Just going face, just because you know the T two would just trade into one of the flame imps, so you don't necessarily need to trade for like don't need to trade, so you can put that extra damage to some vodka. Removing the yeah, gotta stay ahead. Yeah, gotta stay ahead. And then we do see the brand being played. I would like to remove that. But uh, it, I, I like going with the juggle here. Maybe you only have to sacrifice your flame imp. Fifty fifty chance. Yeah, it's a fifty fifty chance. Otherwise, you oh. may get an extra. Oh, it looks like he might trade in his. Uh... Yeah, his crazy alpha. Or... Yeah, his. Uh... What do you mean, the uh, possessed villager? Yeah, possessed villager. I'm. I'm watching my game that's still going in the background. Some guy played Yogg, and it's been like 15 spells later. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that, that's a pretty tough board to actually come back from. Mm -hmm. That was definitely true. Oh, so... Gormok the Impeller though, in uh, some vodka's hand. If he could pick up like uh, Forbidden Summoning or something like that, he might be able to get the trigger that. True, true. Possibly. Yeah. I know some people remove the uh, I mean the uh, Forbidden Ritual for the like I guess like the draw is more value if you're running stuff like Soulfire and also the Doom Guards. I guess like the power level like it's worth it's, like it's worth removing the uh, Forbidden Rituals. You know, it's probably to deal with the meta as well. I mean. Look at how many people are running a bunch of AoEs. Uh, Warrior, like there's several different Warrior builds that just constantly smashes that card. Uh, Druid to an extent could do it with Swipe. Sometimes they even get the third Swipe off of their... Priest also has a good amount of AoE that could deal with it. Like Pyromancer in general just kind of hurts them. And, you know, removing the cards that are just dead to the meta is usually the right way to go. And yeah. put in stuff that's 